Hello, today I will show you how to recognize digits using Python with OpenCV. We will process with the input using OpenCV and will run the neural network to predict the digits. Let's start with a short plan of what we are going to do. First, we will set up the project. Second, we will prepare the video setup for our camera. Next, we will create a bounding box for digit prediction. And we will finish by creating the process for digit recognition. What we need to do before starting to write the code is to create a virtual environment and install the necessary libraries. For this project, I already created a digit recognition folder and added an empty digit recognition Python file in a model folder where I have a neural network model of digit recognition weights. I am working with PyCharm IDE, but similar principles are for our IDEs too. I already opened the project in PyCharm. We can see that there is a digit recognition folder and in it we have a model folder with a digit recognition model. Outside we have an empty Python file. Let's open it. Now let's create a virtual environment. Let's go to File Settings. On the right it should be selected Project Interpreter. And here we can see that no interpreter is selected. Let's press down arrow and select Show All. Here we can see the already used ones. We will create the new one. Let's press plus sign. Make sure that we create the new environment and we can see that it will create a new folder named Ven, short for virtual environment, in our main project folder. And our base interpreter will be Python 3.7. We press OK and it will create a virtual environment. When it's finished, we press OK and we are ready to install the necessary libraries. Let's see what libraries we will need and what version I recommend installing. Some library versions are older than the present ones. The reason is that not all library versions are compatible with each other. This combination of versions is tested and working, so I recommend using them. Let's go back to the PyCharm. To install the new library into a virtual environment, we need to press plus sign. Write the library name, specify the version we want and click the install package button. After some time it will show that the package was installed successfully. The same we do for our libraries. If there is an error, make sure the last install was finished, no other processes are going in PyCharm, or try to restart the PyCharm. When you will finish, you should see a bunch of new libraries installed. The last thing you will need to do, is only for this project because we are using an older version of TensorFlow, is to open the terminal, write this line, and press Enter. This will downgrade the protobuf to the lower version. Now we are ready to go to the code. We will start by preparing the video setup. First we need to import the OpenCV library, import CV2. Next we need to initiate the video capture. Most of the time your camera will be auto-detected using only zero and that should be enough. Next, knowing that the video is just a bunch of images or frames, we need the while loop to go through them. We will write while true and in it underscore comma frame equal to cut dot read to read all our frames. I'm also adding one additional line to rotate a video by 180 degrees. Use this line if your camera is rotated 180 degrees like mine. Also, let's make a frame copy. We will be working with a copy. To show the frame, we will write cv2 dot time show and in brackets we add window name input and source of what we want to display frame copy. What's left is to add a couple of lines which will help us close the window and stop the code. We add if condition to close the window when the escape button is pressed. If the condition is true, it will break the loop. And we finish by destroying all windows. Let's run the code to test it. We can see the input window and that the webcam is working. Let's move to the next part. In this part, we will create a bounding box for digit prediction. Ok, first what we want to do is to create a bounding box in the center of the window. Next we will crop the frame according to the bounding box and use this cropped frame in the digit recognition process. Let's start by getting our frame window size. We can use cap.get to get the frame's width and height. 
Next, let's move to the main while loop and define the bounding box size. 60 by 60 pixels will be enough. Next, we need to calculate the centered bounding box coordinates. We need coordinates for the top left corner and bottom right corner. Top left corner's x coordinate we get by subtracting from half width, half bounding box width, and making the result integer. Y coordinate we get by subtracting from half height, half bounding box height, and also making the result integer. Bottom right corner coordinate calculation is similar, just now we add. Now we can crop the frame according to the bounding box. We create a new variable image cropped and assign it to the frame and slice with less slicings. First we need to add the slicer from y coordinate to y and next from x to x. Ok, we have a cropped image. What next we need to do is to convert it to grayscale. We convert to grayscale because we don't need additional information such as color to recognize the digit. And we can show this cropped image. Let's name the window cropped and add the gray image. Let's run the code. Ok, we have two windows. If we move these numbers to the center, we can see the number in the cropped window. The window is quite small. Let's go back to the code and resize the cropped image. We add the additional line which resizes the image to 200 by 200 pixels. Let's run the code now. Ok, now it's better. Let's move to other numbers. The crop preview is working well. Let's move to the next part. In this part, we will create a prediction function to run the digit recognition model. Let's start by importing numpy as np and from tensorflow.keras.models we import the load model. Ok, let's load our model. It's in our model folder and named digits. Next, let's create a prediction function. The input will be the image and the model. The model we already defined and for the image we will use our cropped image, the gray version. Ok, back to the function. First, we need to resize our image to 28 by 28 pixels. We use the size because the neural network was trained using the size of images. So for the best results, we equalize the sizes. Next, we normalize image gray values to 1. For that, we divide the image by the maximum gray value of 255. So the result will be that all values are in the range from 0 to 1. Next, we need to reshift the image to the new size. We have one image, 28 by 28 pixel size, and one channel. After that, we can predict what digit we have. It will calculate probabilities for all digits. We only need the digit with the highest probability. For that, we will use NumPy's Amax function. Next, we need the digit index or class index. This time, class indexes are the same as digits, so we don't need to do anything else. We just drop the list by accessing the list indexing. Ok, so the result has a predicted digit and prob a probability. Let's add an if statement defining that we need only the result and probability if the probability is more than 0.75. Else, we make the result and probability equal to 0. We finish our prediction function by returning the result and probability. Ok. So what we need to do is to go to the main while loop and call this function. Let's call it after we prepared our cropped image. We add cropped image gray and a model. So after a model run, we'll have a prediction view probability. Let's add these values to the frame. For that, we'll use the put text method. First, we put our prediction and after that, we have probability of the prediction. For probability, we'll use formatting for two number precision. What's left is to display the bounding box itself. Let's draw a rectangle at bounding box coordinates. Let's run the code. You will see some TensorFlow errors, but that's normal. Ok, we see that we have prediction and probability equal to 0. Let's try to predict some digits. 0 is 100%, 1 also. It would be great to add some colors to our prediction bounding box. Let's do it. For example, if we have a probability of more than 0.75, the color will be green, if less, red. 
Let's add the vertical color to a rectangle. Let's try now. Okay, now we have a green bounding box because the probability is 1. If we move the digits, the probability drops and the color becomes red. When we have a probability of more than 0 0.75, we have a green color. I think it's quite nice to have color identification. So we finished. I hope you learn how easy you can set up the code to predict the digits using your webcam, OpenCV and convolutional neural network model. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. You will find the code in the video description. If you liked this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.